With temperatures pushing single digits and no relief in sight, some of Boise's most vulnerable are looking for ways to deal with this Arctic cold. Hundreds of men and women and children find themselves homeless. On your site's Chris Oswald looked into the lengths they're going to stay warm. Donna Michelle, as night falls here in downtown Boise, the temperature has most certainly plummeted, and that means the homeless that are living here under the connector near Road Skate Park are dealing with brutal conditions. Some of them are so miserable, they're going to the hospital to get heat. Well, this one I just got. Kind of a light one. Karen Shea is just one of many forced to sleep in the cold and snow. Shea, who has been homeless for the last several years, turns to blankets for warmth. As well as you layer up on your coats and clothes and stuff, you gotta do the same thing with your with your bedding. Protection from the cold is vital. The National Coalition for the Homeless says life-threatening hypothermia can set in between 32 and 50 degrees. Not everyone who finds themselves homeless are willing to escape the cold through traditional methods. Many are turning to local ERs to get warm. Shea isn't one of those. No, it's not my favorite place to hang out. Both St. Alphonsus and St. Luke say they've seen an increase in their ER visits since the temperatures dropped. Neither could give me specific numbers, but Beth Toll with St. Luke's told me in a statement, quote, it is true that when we have extreme weather, we see more people come to the emergency department because they have nowhere else to go, end quote. The National Coalition for the Homeless points to the lack of shelters as an excuse for the homeless to use ERs for warmth. In a 2010 report, the coalition found only 19% of shelters in the U.S. are open all day. In Boise, Shea says there are options. The River of Life Men's Mission, they, um, they have their dining room open for people to go because when it's under 32 degrees, they open up their dining room for people to go in and they watch movies. The most important thing, though, for those forced to sleep in the cold is layers, something Shea has become pretty good at. It's just a lightweight comforter, but it keeps the heat in as well. And then this is a small police blanket and another small police blanket. Now, area shelters are open for the homeless to get in and out of the cold. I talked to one today. They said last Friday that they only had about 100 beds left, and that's a pretty low number for a night like Friday night. But they say that no matter how cold it is, they will try and make beds and room for anybody looking for shelter. We're live in Boise tonight. Chris Oswald, today six on your side.